Hey guys, it's Christy, and today's video is going to be a keto chow unboxing. So if you're new here, my name is Christy. This is Christy's Corner. I do all things Disney, Harry Potter, makeup, style, fashion, uh, cross country, keto, DIYs, and recipes. So for today's video, we were talking keto. So I about, I don't know, a year ago, I um, got a Disney themed unbox a box from a swap from one of my friends and they included a sample of keto chow So I tried it out. I liked it decently, but I don't always do keto subscription boxes Sometimes I do sometimes I don't and this time this is my first official purchase from keto chow so I'm super excited to jump on into it and show you what I got. Some of the things I've tried, some of them I have not. I'll tell you which ones I have not tried. And then later on, I will post whatever I thought about them, probably on my Instagram, Instagram right here. Um, or if you want to uh, leave a comment down below and ask me about any of them, you can. And once I've tried them, I will respond back with what I have tried. So let's get started. So first up on top is a savory soup bundle, Oshar low carb meal replacement soup mixes for nutritional ketosis. So there's 0.1 gram net carbs per serving, or as low as. So it comes in a bag, and this says is how to chow. Add fat source, so like salted butter, bacon fat, oil, heavy cream, etc. whatever you wanna add to your soup. Add 14 ounces of hot warm water, Boiling water tends to uh, um, curdle or make the protein lumpy, so you want hot or warm. Add one packet of powder, mix until all the powder is wet using a blender or whisk. Um, you can add salt and pepper for seasoning, even vegetables or meat. Want to stay hot longer? Try um, sorting it in or mixing it in a hydro flask. Nice. Okay, so. Um, this is a sample packet, so it has probably all of their soups in here. We'll open it up and look. Total carbs is um, 8.5 with a fiber of 8.17, which is, makes it down to like less than one gram of carb. Uh, and that's per one scoop of dry mix, which I'm assuming is a packet. And then it gives it with it with a uh, with salted butter or with heavy cream, so it ups it by that. Um, I typically use heavy cream when I'm making soup; it's more filling than butter. But let's open this up and see what soups we've got in the sample packet. We've got creamy tomato basil. Um, makes one mil. Okay, yeah. So serving size it makes one mil. It's a big packet for one mil. Mix it hot, ultra low carb meal replacement soup mix for nutritional ketosis, single serving package. So that's nice to know that it's a single serving package. Um, yeah, so I mean, I already read how it goes. This one's creamy tomato basil, which I love tomato basil. Spicy taco base, nice. Ultra large kill meal replacement soup mix. So I wonder like this one, maybe put with some ground beef to make it taco instead of taco soup. You know, you can't just eat soup without having something like, is this just me? You have to have like some sort of something to chew in order to really enjoy a meal. So uh, yeah, I would probably put this with hamburger meat. Um, the cr creamy tomato basil, I might add like some spinach or something in there. Um, this one is beef soup base. So you could also mix this with ground beef. And um, savory chicken soup. Shredded chicken, maybe? So is mil their meal replacements help you with ketosis? I'm super excited to try these out. In case you didn't know, I have been doing keto for over two years now, but I've been on maintenance for well over a year, and I decided this year that I was going to uh, go back to hardcore keto to lose another 30 pounds. I didn't gain any really, like maybe fluctuate like five to eight pounds every now and then, but I've stayed, I've maintained where I've been since I lost. 
Um, and I just have about 30 more pounds I want to lose. So that's why I did this. I'm doing this keto is to kind of just jumpstart me into it. I will say I don't always use help, help, healthy, la, la, la. Um, I don't always use supplements and stuff to help me along the way because I don't feel like that that's a lifestyle change. I feel like that's a diet. Um, I only use them when I'm doing the diet portion of, keep, of being keto and being keto is a lifestyle change unless you're in the weight loss portion of it and that is considered a diet in my book. Other people may say differently but in my book of my research and being keto, um, the weight loss part is a diet. The lifestyle part is not. The only difference is the amount of carbs you're consuming and you're not tracking it as closely. Um, and you're really, in, on the diet process, you're really paying attention to your macros and everything. On my maintenance, I'm not. I'm, I'm not, I'm still being keto, but I'm not paying attention as much to the macros. And I eat more carbs, but I stay reasonable. And when I'm on the weight loss process, I don't have cheat days. But when I'm on the maintenance process, I may have like a cheat day every two weeks. Some people do give themselves more cheat days. I usually stick to about every two weeks. Whenever there's like an occasion or something, or like one of my family members wants to go get pasta. And I always regret it too, because pasta kills my stomach. It's all that gluten. I'm just sick. So sick from gluten. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Oh, so the keto child, let's see if it gave me pricing. Nope, the invoice doesn't give me pricing. It gives me my shipping cost, but I got the savory bundle, which was that, and then the seven day reset kit. So this must be the seven day reset kit. Okay, so they all, in the seven day reset kit, you also get one of these tumblers, which I already have one, but I can always have another one. And, I, and these tumblers do come with a blender ball. And I have like a couple of tumblers. I have two, now I have two of these. I have a couple of um, other brand ones. And then it came with a headband that says Keto Chow on it, which is perfect because I lost my Nike one that I used when I put makeup on, don't know where it went. So I can totally use this to put makeup on. And then this next one is like a hand towel that says Keto Chow on it. So that's cool. Got a little merch with my um, milk kit, reset kit. Okay, so the reset kit, these are like smoothies. You drink them like smoothies. You can use like heavy cream or uh, water or whatever you want. This one's got 0.4 net carbs per serving. The whole packet is one serving. It's orange cream, um, but yeah, it says um, oil, heavy cream, whatever your fat source is that you add to it. And I usually do heavy cream and some water whichever, usually a mix between the two or just heavy cream. But this one's orange cream. I have not tried that one. This one is salted caramel. I have tried this one. It's okay. It's not like, I'm not, I love caramel. Caramel, caramel, how, how do you say it? Um, I love caramel in like candy form, like creamy caramel, car caramel, caramel. I don't, I'm not crazy about the flavoring of it. So this one is okay, it's not my favorite. But if you like caramel, the flavor of it, then you'll like it. Um, that one would be good like mixed in coffee or something, I think. So this one is chocolate toffee. I have not tried this one, but that sounds pretty good. Uh, vanilla, I have tried the vanilla. It's just typical vanilla. I think what I'll do this time with this one, I have like a uh, Tazo, 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 herbal tea that is zero carbs, zero calories. I, I could probably mix it into this and make it like that smoothie-ish Tazo tea. That would be really good. And then the mocha one I have tried, it is chocolatey. Um, oh, this one came with a taco base too, nice. And this one is pistachio, have not tried this one. We've got another taco base, spicy tacos. One regular and one spicy. They're both spicy. So we got two spicy taco bases. Um, chocolate flavor, it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Banana, I can't remember if I tried this one or not. I wanna say that I did. 
I don't know, but banana, you can't, if you like banana, you can't go wrong with this. I am excited to try this one, the natural strawberry one. It sounds like it's gonna be really good. Snickerdoodle, I'm actually allergic to cinnamon, but I did try this one last time, it made me itch, but that's okay. And it was actually really good. And oops, dropped it, and it looks like we've got another vanilla one. So that is the starter kit of this. It all, I'm really excited to try it. I don't know that I'll try it this weekend. I may wait until Monday. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, that was it for this keto chow. I have tried them before. I do like them. That's why I purchased them. Um, but if you're interested in finding out more about these packets, just uh, drop me a message on my Instagram right here or put a comment down in the script, uh, down in the description, put a comment down below and um, ask me your questions and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. If I can't, if I'm not sure, I may reference you to somebody, reference you, refer you to somebody else. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, bye now.